this week, I'm joined by Tom McKay. Tom, thank you so much for joining me this week. Thank you, Lana. I'm really pleased to be here. What drew you to a career in crime prevention? It was happenstance, literally. Uh, I had uh, a staff sergeant who was in charge of crime prevention at Field Police, where I worked. Uh, I was happily doing uh, traffic enforcement in the breathalyzer unit. And, uh, but of course, you know, your career is going to uh, move uh, on from there. And uh, she suggested that I put an application to crime, or crime prevention and it was a two year stint. Um, and I remember thinking, yes, I, I would, could see myself uh, being interested in that, perhaps doing well in that. And, uh, you know, I, I put in for it. Uh, they mentioned the SEPTED spot, crime prevention through environmental design, and a robbery uh, or, or retail, uh, actually crime prevention uh, portfolio. Um, so I eventually got the spot. Uh, the rest was history. Uh, but what is a project that you worked on throughout your career that you're most proud of? Oh boy, there are a lot of them. Uh, be it uh, some SEPTED retrofits where we knock down crime. Uh, literally to uh, zero, you know, in that category, be it theft of vehicles, theft from vehicles. Uh, we, uh, I, I, my very first project was the uh, involving a high school trespass crime problem at a high school. I actually won the Herman Goldstein problem uh, oriented policing uh, problem solving award for that. Uh, so there's been a lot of individual projects, but there's other concepts too. Um, I came up with a clear zone robbery prevention program, which uh, Max through Sean Sporton adopted. Uh, of course, they're now Circle K. Uh, SO, uh, pardon me, uh, Petro Canada have, have taken it uh, and put it, taken it across the country. Um, I actually go out and, you know, in my travels now, and I'll see sites in Toronto that have this concept. Uh, Harvard University is studying it again, thanks to Sean Sporton and his work with uh, Circle K But uh, when he was there. But he, uh, uh, so there's that program. Um, I've been working on uh, a concept for about 20 years called behavioral based design. I think it's an evolutionary step from crime prevention uh, through environmental design. And uh, it's really a study of human behavior and the idea that uh, you study behavior first, and then you design based from that knowledge. And I think it's a better platform than the SEPTED uh, platform because the SEPTED practitioners doesn't necessarily understand human behavior or what to expect from it. So I'm, I, you know, that's another uh, example of something I'm really proud of. And I'm still working on. It. I'm going to do my first course. I hope within the next year or two on behavioral based design. But it's going to be. I will guarantee you, uh, it will be the best course. Uh, that any SEPTED person will have ever had. If you've had my SEPTED courses, this will top it uh, threefold. This will be an uh, outstanding course. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. I really enjoyed getting to know you and to learn about your career. And I know that you're going to do so many more amazing things. And I'm really excited to see everything that you do. And I would love to keep in touch. Me too, and I thank you for reaching out. I do appreciate it. And I do appreciate the great work you do at Canadian Security Magazine. It is phenomenal. I've been a follower for years. So you guys keep up the good work.